Ah, the British countryside. What more could any man want, or any woman want for that matter? It is the epitome of a natural landscape, beautiful and perfect in every way. Indeed, it's the reason why so many people in Yorkshire are convinced that they live in God's own county. There is, however, just one small little problem, and that is, well, it's dead. In the Neolithic and Bronze Age, the landscape of Britain changed dramatically as people began to clear trees to make way for farms and bend the landscape to their will. As time went on, not only did the population expand, but also technology developed, specifically the development of copper and bronze axe heads. This meant that the rate of change in the landscape suddenly sped up. The axes were now far more efficient and more trees than ever were being cut down. All of this was to make room for and to build the Bronze Age farmsteads, which were beginning to spring up all around the countryside. In our haste to embrace farming, we cut down many trees, such as the evergreens and pines of the forests. Now, the evergreens and pines are extremely dry, and their sap is extraordinarily flammable. This is for a very good reason. Occasionally, there will be a lightning strike in a forest, and this means that the sap in the trees immediately combusts. Huge swathes of forest would be lost in these fires, and they would spread very far, but this was part of a natural cycle, and indeed it was utterly necessary for the health of the forest. As soon as the trees were cut down, there could no longer be natural forest fires, and this paved the way for a menace to grow. Sphagnum moss could now grow unchecked. This moss has the terrible habit of quite literally choking off the plant life around it. It creates very acidic, oxygenless, bog-like landscapes. With no trees to burn away the moss cover, it was now free to grow exponentially and create an entire landscape like the Yorkshire Moors. And even though we often think of this as being unspoiled natural grandeur, it is in fact a choked landscape, a ruined area. Often what we now think of as natural and beautiful is in fact the site of one of the world's largest man-made natural disasters. One could even go so far as to call these areas the Amazon of Europe. Something to think about. <laughs>